Welcome back to Heroes Next Door. Today on Station of Rigs, we're bringing you a 2020 Ford 350 Transit. So this is the first solar-powered unit in Pennsylvania and the first all-wheel drive Ford Transit set up in the ambulance in the nation. When I'm talking about solar power, I'm not talking about solar power that runs the powertrain as far as the wheels, but it's talking about all the electronics on the inside. Normally on an ambulance, you have the engine that has to be run and you have the alternator that has to be run to run all the electronics. This is all done by solar power. Many of you ask why we have such big ambulances in the U.S. This is one of the smaller ambulances, but it has everything that you need, just like a regular ambulance. There's some pretty unique features in here that I need to talk about. What's unique is not only the passion compartment and where everybody sits, but they have the ability to cut down on bacteria by using copper covered touch spaces, UV lights, and air filtration systems. Washington Hose Company cares so much about their staff that they not only included those bacteria killing surfaces, but they integrated a couple safety features in this ambulance. One is being their 360 degree camera, they blacked out all the windows, and they provide them with bulletproof vests. Going along with the theme of safety for all their providers, they integrated the striker power system for their stretchers. This is a stretcher that can lift up to 700 pounds. We know in today's EMS services that people are getting larger and larger and it's we're working with two-man crews versus four-man crews. So having an integrated stretcher like this with a power system is gonna save a lot of backs. Now that you've seen all the safety features that are integrated into this ambulance, I wanna talk a little bit more about the technology. But in order to do that, I need to bring in another person. He's gonna to explain to us a little bit more on what this thing is all about. And this is Chief Scott Thornton. Thanks for having us out and to take a look at this awesome truck. Now, you were pretty instrumental in regards to design of this truck. Why did you integrate this zero RPM system? Well, Mike, one of our biggest thing is our costs. And one of the major thing was in cost reduction with the fleet was integrating solar technology stored power in addition to what is our combustible side. So when we're sitting with an ambulance on scene or if we're at a special event, the ambulance has got to run basically on an average every two hours, we got to keep idling. So it's the cost of the fuel, the emissions, plus the actual Hobbs time that we're running on the motor means I got to get it back in service. What we did was we blended some of the other technology that we're used to and familiar with and made our first solar panel system for our one, two, and three ambulance line. Okay. And now when we came into the first all-wheel drive panel system, we partnered with a couple different companies and said, we like to do this. So with partnership with Zero RPM, we actually took their self-contained system as far as a power management integrated that the whole roof on this ambulance, believe it or not, are solar panels. When you see our ambulance one and two, you'll see it sticking up about three inches. This is actually hundreds of little stamp cells compared to the big, what okay. we see on Tesla. Okay. What that does is translate is I can turn off this ambulance, sit it out in the middle of nowhere, dry camping basically like an RV. Wow. And that power will continue to actually run this ambulance so that our radio systems, our life supports, everything is running off the solar. Okay. So as long as I have sun, we're not running the gas. So if you have a major incident, like you need to do a rehab, or maybe you're doing a standby of an event, this ambulance is the way to go, right? Exactly. On the other side of this ambulance, we actually integrated marine outlets so that there wouldn't be a shock factor and we can run a cooling vest to drop the core temperature for the firefighters or responders. We have another outlet that can supply a supplemental mister or power lighting without having a generator. This way we're not taking on additional fuel, weight, or cost. Okay. Everything's integrated within the system. And this little magic black box actually is our system. If you can look on the side, it actually tells us how much power we're generating from the solar into lithium batteries that are literally storing it for when we need it. Wow, that's an awesome way to go. I mean, that's really forward thinking. And, and you know, as fuel costs go up and you know, all the other expenses of brakes and all the maintenance that goes along with this, this is a good way to save money. Absolutely. Plus, I'm not jump starting an ambulance anymore. This self contains it, auto starts by a jump battery. We've all been there. We've been well, out seen somewhere. There. We turn it down, maybe at the hospital, and we go drop our patient off. Becomes critical. We come back out, and the ambulance is dead. All you do is push a button, pull it from the lithium batteries, starts up. Wow, what a great thing to have. So this is wrapping up another episode of Station Rigs. This one's pretty cool because it's got that solar power, it's an all-wheel drive, and it's a smaller footprint than all the other ones we've seen.
Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification so we can keep bringing you more.